So we're talking about what is known as what macrogenitosomia. Macrogenitosomia. Okay. So this macrogenitosomia is also known as what pubertas precox. It's also known as what ambiguous genitalia. Do you understand? Like it simply means that the genitals are so big. You understand? So for this type of question that has to do with penis, vagina, like for this type of video that has to do with penis, vagina, and all of that, I can't actually bring their pictures here. Do you understand? Because YouTube will ban me because of sexual contents. You know, YouTube don't really know that as medical professionals, we study these things. You understand? So instead of bringing all those vaginal penis, I just brought a big cucumber, all right? Just to illustrate that. Uh, at least this this playful stuff now will make you never to forget it. You understand? Just to illustrate that there's an abnormal development in the penis and all of that, making it so big. All right, that's what is known as what all that ambiguous genitalia. All right, so macrogen uh, macrogenitosoma is a condition characterized by what premature or excessive development of external genitalia. If, as we are talking about just macrogenitosomia. Macrogenitosomia. Have in mind that it's known as what pubertas precox and bigos genitalia. Right. So this condition is often associated with what some hormone disorders. Right. So it can also affect what internal sex organs. Right. So causes most of the times is what hormone imbalances. So there's excess production of what androgens, which are male hormones. All right. So if it occurs in a woman, it's usually worse. If you are causing men, even if it is, even though it is the main uh, hormone now, right? But if it is too much, it still affects them, right? So most of the times, it from genetic disorders like congenital adrenal hyperplasia, androgen sensitivity syndrome. Okay, all of this can actually cause the condition. The environmental factors like exposure to certain substances during when you were developing as a child. Symptoms is a premature development. So external genitalia appears in large or masculinized. The ambiguous genitalia in females, the external genitalia may now start resembling that of males, right? Other signs is excessive body hair, deepening of voice, then early puberty. That's what is known as well. Precautious puberty. Alright. Diagnosis is physical examination. So you access the external genitalia and other physical signs. Hormone test, so you want to uh, uh, see if androgen levels are so high. Genetic testing, you want to identify any genetic mutations associated with hormonal disorders. The imaging studies like ultrasound MRI, just to examine what the internal reproductive organs. Right? Treatment, hormone therapy, surgical intervention, the psychological support, because most of those individuals, they will now start hating themselves. Right? So psychological support is is needed for them all right so i think that's just it all right this image should make you never to forget this topic right all right so that's it